Welcome to a wet and rainy Slovenia. We're in Maribor for the first downhill World Cup of the season and the heavens have opened. We did practice yesterday and it was completely bone dry. So there's just literally no form guide to what we're going to see today in the first qualifiers of the year. It's a little bit wet, isn't it? But we are going to do our best. We're camped out at the finish line at the bottom of the mountain to bring you all the reaction from the riders in a very socially distanced and safe way. How was that? I mean, talk about a change of conditions from practice. Pretty wild. Like, it's so cold over there. Conditions are crazy. Just trying to keep warm, save energy for, you know, it being a double headliner. It's just so hard to know. Was World Champs last week any kind of preparation for what you're experiencing today? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the same weather, but uh, I think it was a uh, harder uh, trek in Leogang. Uh, it flows so much better than last weekend that I'm happy to ride a track that it's something better than... Uh, if we can't have the sun, we should have something fast. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the sun's going to come our way. How much more difficult was that in Super comparison hard. to the training yesterday? So intense and you had to take heaps of breaks. Had to pull my thingy like six times. So I just can't believe it. that's sick. I'm stoked. So Miriam, Nicole just came down after Tracy when we were interviewing her there. She's gone into second place. As it stands in this crazy weather, your number one's Tracy Hannah, your number two is Miriam Nicole, and your number three is local girl Monica Harashnik. The weather's just getting worse and worse. The men are about to go. Let's see what they can make of the track. Ben, you've heard loads about from the riders about the visibility up there. How bad is it? Um, yeah, it's really tough coming into the first woods. Um, just a lot of water, a lot of, a lot of fog, and... Um, it makes it really difficult through the first forest, but after that it really opens up and there's so much water flowing down the track, you can really actually ride it quite dry, like almost like it's dry. Um, there's just a few sections that are easy to get caught out. And, uh, what sections are they? Just at the bottom there. Um, for me, I noticed I was just braking a little bit too hard at the bottom. Um, there's so much water in the rut. You can't see some of the roots that you're like used to seeing. So you're like, oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? But it's good fun. Look, you're no stranger to this track, but it's very different from the conditions you've seen before. Yeah, today was really different for sure. Uh, I wanted to stand the bike, get some points, you know, because it's not my conditions, but I wanted to do a steady start for the weekend. Uh, it was pretty fun, to be honest, a little bit sketchy in some parts, but I had a good time. Reese, really, so it your first run in your rainbow jersey as well. Did that add a bit of confidence or a bit of pressure? Unbelievable, just totally forgot how to own it. It doesn't change anything. I still want to perform every race, so just super happy with that. I had a really enjoyed it, relaxed. Just enjoyed it. What is it about you and the mud? <laughs> Scotland, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Scotland. <laughs> Are you hoping for more of these conditions over the next few days? I want us to take anything. I felt great in the dry as well. I'm just enjoying my bike at the minute, so anything, I'll, I'll be happy. Right, love it. Go get warm, get dry. We'll see you tomorrow. So another awesome display from Reese Wilson. The Scots got number one in qualifiers for the first double header in Maribor. Tune in on Red Bull TV and find out whether he can back it up.